So some of the seeds we start early here are flowers, tomatoes, um, peppers, and then a few herbs. We might still start another tray of some random things and then other things we will be getting from local nurseries when the time comes to plant outdoors. Some of the things we started early this year are some zinnias, which uh, we usually start some early and then plant a bunch outside directly in the soil. That way we get um, some early blooms. Uh, we also are starting a different kind of marigold this year for the first time. And we're trying a new zinnia, the Cactus Bright Jewels mix. All of these we got from Fedco Seeds, which we've used the last few years and have had really good results with um, their seeds and find it really easy to order um, what we need. I also started some fennel and some kale. Similarly with the zinnias, the kale, we usually start some indoors and then direct sow a bunch of kale as well. That way we get some early plants and some that will grow a little bit longer throughout the season. Uh, for herbs, we started some cilantro. We just saved seeds from past years. Same with dill. It's just seeds that we kept from plants. Um, and then calendula, which is a flower slash medicinal plant that we use. Uh, we started jalapenos for peppers. The rest, we'll usually get a few bell peppers from a nursery. And then I just started one kind of tomato at the moment. And Julian decided to start some zucchini. making some bone broth this morning on the wood stove. And then the kids and I are gonna work on starting some seeds. We're gonna do it as part of a homeschool project, but also it's just something that we need to get done. Yeah, so the kids are gonna help me start some seeds today. If you guys wanna go through the seed packets and start laying them out so we can be organized, I'm gonna show you how to set up the seed starting mix. Thank you. 
Like, okay. We'll put the bigger seeds in the deeper holes. No, I can't. Usually, the bigger the seed, the deeper you have to bury it when you're starting plants. A little tiny seed, you just sprinkle soil on the, the top. But a, a seed like a pea, how deep do you think you bury that? Pretty deep. I'll make, I'll make up like some pea ones. I don't think we're gonna start peas today, but I think we might start a zucchini or two. Mm, so I'll make two big ones. Big I think we've got plenty. We'll just wait till we start planting. If we have to make some holes bigger, we can, okay? Okay, just... What plant are you most excited for to grow in the garden this year? Zinnias. Zinnias, are they always your favorite? Do you have a favorite color? Pink. The pink ones? I love the yellow ones. You like the yellow ones? I like the ones, I like the like, big yellow ones. Yeah. Remember that huge, huge yeah. yellow one? Yeah, last year we just had like a giant yellow zinnia. Do you and have a... that was just like super teeny. Do you have a favorite thing to grow in the garden? Um, I think you need to not do it quite so um, streamlined here. Let's. I really like growing the big right mats because they are always growing and they're always growing super fast. It's like they're fun to watch. Sure. Like it's every like day they get a little bit bigger. This is like a challenge. And it's fun to like go out and check them. And see how big they grow. Yeah. We don't really do anything too fancy with our seed starting set up here. We just reuse trays and containers for the most part until they get too cracked to use anymore. And um, we do have a small outdoor greenhouse, but it is not. Um, substantial enough to start seeds out in it at this point in the year we still have snow and it's um, below freezing still at night uh, so we usually just put them by a window sometimes we use a grow light um, but I think you got them um, it's it's usually it usually works well enough for certain plants and then I'll still buy things like tomatoes and peppers from local nurseries or greenhouses just because our setup really doesn't do a good enough job to um, help them get a strong enough start. We still have a whole tray that I haven't planted anything in yet, so I'm gonna go through all of our seeds and see what we might be missing. But a lot of the stuff that we like to grow and eat the most is stuff that we plant directly in the, in the ground um, in spring. So 
a lot we just have to be patient for, which can be tricky. But all of our beets and for the most part our kale and corn and our greens and our pumpkins all Can just get planted right in the ground. Can you try growing a watermelon this year? We yeah. tried it last year, but it didn't work. Like it I got know. pretty big, but then it got rotten. We don't have a great climate for watermelon. Oh, where we live, we have okay. a lot of slugs. Could we at least could... try? We can try. I have watermelon seeds. Maybe you could start one ahead of time. Give it a head start. And now cool we'll put these by a window. A watermelon. Yeah, it would be cool to eat a homegrown watermelon. We'll put these by a window and make sure to turn them regularly and keep them watered for the next eight weeks or so. thing we're interested in trying out this year is to do a more movable exterior fence which would allow us to take the fence down and do a better job of mowing around to let better light in. Um, another thing we're going to try is to do planting zones within the garden with paths for mowing and walking in between each one. So we'll plant certain groups of plants in each zone, uh, which we can amend the soil in those areas and really work it up and then worry less about the path areas. And we'll make sure that those areas are wide enough for either a push mower or a weed whacker or something to get in there. So right now I'm just kind of spatially trying to figure out how many growing zones we can fit. If we change our fencing, it also, our space can um, have a gate kind of wherever we want it to, which is also convenient. Right now it's kind of determined by our metal fence and where it starts and ends. But then I think we could have a gate over here, which is house side. Our house is over here, which would make it more convenient. So now I'm just going to go through all of our seeds that we have in the list of plants that I made earlier about what I want to grow. And I'm, I'll kind of fill this in and probably draw it another time or two just to figure out the best arrangement of things. Our pumpkins that Julian does every year takes up a lot of space and so does corn. So it'll be um, one of the things I'm going to do is try to figure out if I can plant our pole beans with our corn this year because both of those things take up a lot of space. <laughs> 